All right, it is four o'clock and we will call the uh, April 28th Architecture Review Board to order. Steve, if you could please run us through the rolls. Sounds good, Joe Clark. Present. Alderperson Savaglio. Jerry Jones, Here. Richard Lindy, Here. Pam Langan, and Robert Heimerl and Charlie Wiggs said that they would not be making today's meeting. Alderperson Savaglio? Nope. All right, but we do have a quorum so we can get rolling. Uh, if everyone could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And any of our board members have a potential conflict of interest with anything on the agenda today? Hearing nothing, it looks like we're all good. Uh, move to item 2.1, approval of the minutes from April 12th. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are carried. Thank you very much. Um, items 3.1 and 3.2, we've got some housekeeping to take care of. Uh, need to elect a chair and vice chair. Do we have any volunteers? Oh. I'd like to nominate Joe Clark as chairman. I'll second that. <laughs> Thought you were going to vote yourself in there, Dick. <laughs> uh, so we've got a motion and a second on the chair. Any further discussion? <sighs> <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you for your confidence, everyone. Um, Vice Chair, I would. Chairman, I nominate Jerry Jones for Vice Chair. Second. We have a motion and a second. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Congratulations, Jerry, Congratulations. and thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. All right, now we can get down to business. Uh, item 3.3 is the proposed exterior remodeling of 1234 Kentucky Avenue. Uh, I believe we've got the applicants on the phone. Good afternoon, everyone. Scott Myers here. Hi, Scott. Are there other folks uh, who are part of the... Uh, Yes, there are. Yeah, we have uh, Gary Gartman and uh, Sam Leroy with Quashes Construction. All right, thanks, guys. Um, if you could give a brief introduction, uh, we've got the images that were sent through. They're up on the screen here. I think we've all had a chance to look at them. Um, but if you could just give us a, a quick rundown of what you're proposing, uh, and then we'll we'll have further discussion. Yep, with regards uh, to the exterior, um, we'll let the pictures do uh, much of the talking, but uh, first of all, there is gonna be an abatement of the, the siding as uh, well as the, the removal of the window coverings. Window openings are gonna stay mostly intact with the exception of uh, the second floor. And then um, many of those windows are gonna be moved uh, over or replaced with uh, windows just in the corners of the building. So we've got a, a, a mixture of a, a couple different types of uh, ethos that is gonna go on the exterior of the building. We'll be replacing uh, doors, meaning uh, both the 
the, the roll-up doors, uh, garage-style doors, as well as dock doors and uh, the, the man doors. Um, Gary, would you want to add on uh, anything to that? Yeah, I believe, Sam, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have samples for you to look at. So the orange panel is actually an ACM panel, aluminum composite metal panel that has concealed fasteners. And there's two types of metal panel that will, uh, for the lighter color, steel color, and the, the charcoal color will be a complementing metal panel sidings. Gary, could you um, walk us around the elevations of the building and just kind of describe a little bit of what's going on in each of those elevations? Sure. Um, Sam probably could use a little bit of help here too, but I think the, the featured corner is the, the southwest entrance point. We have the featured entrance uh, with the canopies, um, with feedback from, from the city, good feedback. That's coming where we have the orange uh, aluminum composite material accenting that area and um, just trying to carry some consistency on every elevation both in highlighting the corners the orange panel and then, and then consistently carrying around the, the charcoal band to break up the height of the building and floors uh, with complement you know, gray color uh, the lighter color and the darker color um, so that uh, this is your south elevation you were looking at there with the main entrance southwest and then the accenting corner um, uh, to the southeast as you roll around to the east side we'll show the dock doors that are currently there with access to the lower level storage and again then from your viewpoint from indiana you're going to see the accent corners the orange uh, accent corners of the buildings that's the north elevation again to keep the consistency of the dark gray lines uh, wrapping around the building uh, with the with the lighter gray siding, and again it kind of repeats again on the on the west elevation to keep it consistent around the, the perimeter of the building. And maybe you could mention the um, second floor and that there were no windows on that floor in terms of the uses that are taking place there. Correct. So the the second floor is planned to be uh, storage units. The, the windows have been eliminated, so you, you, know, you can't visually see the, the storage units and then the accent band, um, again, breaks up that floor, the floor. I know we do have windows on the second level that'll be obscured, so you can't see the storage units through the windows, but we wanna maintain the kind of the consistent look with the windows at the corners uh, at the second level uh, with, with the storage. Uh, you will not be able to see the storage units through the glass again just keeping the consistent look and then also just maintaining the existing openings on levels one and three uh, filling in those with new window openings great thank you very much uh, i guess first comment from my end is <laughs> it's fantastic to see something actually proposed to happen with this building um, we've seen it come before us several times and never get uh, beyond discussion um, certainly an eyesore now and fantastic to see it uh, being done so nicely. Uh, I think your general approach deals with the, the huge massing of the building really nicely. Uh, it's, it's simple but uh, effective. My only concerns with it come from the proximity of the window edges to your orange trim bands. Um, and that's maybe just a, a detailing or proportion issue. Um, the areas where you have the windows right up flush to the edge. I don't know if it's possible to either eliminate a window to have three instead of the four grouping to leave a little more space there or just to give just a little more space to the orange so that it runs continuous. Yeah, the one that you're indicating there was fine. The other one looked to be right up at the edge of the windows. Is there any elevation you'd prefer to show us, Joe? Um, Let's see which one. So like the south elevation is a, a good example that at that feature corner, uh, that south elevation, the orange band at the edge of that feature corner is right up at the edge of the jam of the windows or maybe just a little sliver beyond it. And that that's just a little awkward to me. Um, it, it's just not balanced nicely. 
a uh, couple of thoughts had been either run the orange over to sort of the midpoint between the banks of windows, or in that instance, if you did three windows instead of four, just to give yourselves a little more breathing room there. And then that same sort of philosophy carrying around the corners. Some of them, the windows are completely within the orange trim. Others, they're up to the edge. Just looking to get that a little more consistent would be my request. Yeah, that's good feedback. I like the idea of splitting between the windows to give it enough material around the windows and then maintaining the window width so they're consistent rather than eliminating windows. So I think as we work through the construction documents and we're gonna be using all the, the recommended manufacturer trim transitions that I like the idea of maybe splitting between the windows where we transition the orange to the gray. I prefer that option as well. I think if we stick a, a different window size in there, we'd end up uh, not liking what we see when it's done. And it seems to me that solution from where I'm sitting I would be happy with uh, staff approval on that when it comes back. But once again, I'm monopolizing the conversation. Thoughts from, uh, from everyone else? Dick. Sorry, we need to get your mic. Am I, uh, yep. Yes, uh, on the corner of the southwest, the southwest corner of the building, there's two canopies, both independent. They don't touch at the corner. I was wondering if it would be possible to continue them to create a continuous cover at the entrance to make it a little more welcoming as a shelter. Yeah, I think that was just a design consideration, but as far as uh, connecting, them, connecting them at the corner wouldn't be an issue if that's uh, desired. Thank you. And did everyone hear Dick's comment? It sounds like everyone did, even though the mic wasn't on. Great. Any other comments or concerns? Feedback from the board? Oh. Oh. Chad. So I know you guys can't see me. I'm behind the podium. But anyway, um, I just want to state that we've worked diligently, Steve and I, with cautious and with Scott Meyer to come to a plan that we think works for everybody on this property. Um, the Planning Commission denied a use back in 2017 that was all storage at this location. Um, I think we've come to a compromise that works for both the city and for the developer. And you know, we've hear over and over every day complaints about this building, um, particularly from the neighbors. So we're happy to see a design that we think kind of fits that industrial look and deals with some of the issues and we're excited to see this project move forward. Thank you, Chad. We are too. Yeah, and thank you to everyone for the time and effort gone into this to make this uh, an improvement to the neighborhood. I'm much appreciated. I make a motion to approve subject to staff recommendations, including the change in the uh, setback for the windows, as Joe mentioned, and also the continuation of the awning all the way around as uh, Dick recommended. We have a motion. Second. And a second from Pam. Uh, further discussion? Is it one item, Steve, you had included in your notes was the outbuilding? It's a pump house or something? Oh yeah, thanks for mentioning that. That was mm -hmm. um, one of the things that uh, staff would be able to work with the applicant on. They are going to see if they need that. I believe, Scott, that was something you guys were going to think about raising if it's not needed. Otherwise, if it was needed, uh, the, the applicant was gonna work with staff with regards to making that outbuilding similar material and design and look as to the structure. So absolutely correct uh, with the goal of uh, eliminating it if at all possible. And uh, if not, then coming back and making a mini version of the larger building uh, out of it with the same ethos and, uh, and materials and colors. Great, if uh, all the uh, nominating members are okay with that, we'll include that in the motion. If there is no further discussion, uh, Steve, if you could read the roll for the vote. Joel Clark. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Richard Lindy. Aye. Pam Langen. Aye. Looks like that passes. Congratulations and thank you guys very much. What? No, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Looking forward to get it started. What is thank your you schedule? Well on that, when are you anticipating it actually uh, starting to see construction? 
Uh, getting out final numbers um, from Quashus, obviously, uh, from that point, um, you, you we're at least 90 days out from getting bank financing and then also uh, raising the balance of our capital. So if I had to guess, I would say roughly 120, uh, 120 days. Great. Great. Fantastic to hear it's actually moving forward. So thanks again. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, gang. Appreciate it. Any further items from the board? If not, do we have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. And a second from Dick. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We are adjourned. The next meeting is looking like May 10th. Yeah, and we will have a meeting. Cool. Great. Thanks, everyone. See you then. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.